Fest is still going on as we get ready for the World Championship of Clash of Clans, but these challenges that have been coming to the game have been a lot of fun here, and I want to talk about in today's video how people are topping the leaderboards here. We have the recording of Rikiris on his world record time here getting 1 minute and 53 seconds, but we also have how people are beating the Less is More challenge with only getting 5 troops deployed there, and of course you deploy the heroes and the spells and use all all of those but there are people who are actually getting it even better than that we don't have recordings of those but we'll share how people are doing it with one balloon in this video today so let's actually dive into it we're gonna go over to Rikiris's first and we'll see how he's able to pull it off he did post it up on his twitter i'll throw a link for his twitter in the video description if you want to go drop him a follow and drop me a follow as well now there is a he was on a tall screen here so we have the the haste is off the bottom of the screen there but you can see that he started off with the goblin going down on the base here making the first two collectors invisible and driving the goblin to go down on the base now this is a really critical step right here where he tried to trigger the traps that are next to the cc but doesn't actually go in and get the goblin hit by it so he walks right up to it and then goes invisible throws out additional invisibilities to make so that the goblin ends up going to the left here and goes with the collector he clips the goblin with the haste as he passes by now this one's important he puts the invisibility on the collector up there and he runs quickly inside of the haste there past the tornado trap and he's able to trigger it without actually getting caught in it now the goblin can clear the storage and then start to move up towards the town hall and getting big value out of the haste here not only getting past the tornado trap but also just hasting away from that area and hasting through the channel and everywhere else in that area now with the traps already cleared at the CC, he doesn't have to pass through the traps to get to the CC from the right. So that saves him a lot of time not having to come at it from the left side. And obviously, that assists a lot. There's a little bit more to it as he continues to make his way through. And unfortunately for him, even though he got the world record time, somebody else matched him. And one of the people who did it a second slower ended up winning the raffle. That raffle got them two tickets with hotels flights and everything included the tickets to the world championship of clash of clans and we're going to be going to that too so if you guys want to come join us we're actually going to be live streaming the last qualifiers tomorrow that's going to be starting at 10 a.m eastern you can follow me on twitch and I'll also stream it on tiktok and we'll at least stream the couple first rounds that aren't going to be on the main clash of clans broadcast so not all the wars will be on that but you can see the last invisible that came down on that collector up top there and and then he wrapped his way back up and picked that collector up. So yeah, definitely come hang out for the, the stream there. And then obviously Rikiris will be playing in the World Championship of Clash of Clans. Follow my Twitter. The goal of the Less is More challenge is to complete it using as few troops as possible. This one used one balloon total. You can use all your spells. You can use your heroes. He deploys a bat spell next to the defensive warden. And then he deployed an air warden to go ahead and fight off the defensive heroes there. The bat is deployed on the right side of those heroes. So it tanks for a moment and then splits off and works on the eagle artillery with enough bats to take it down the warden needs to take out all three of the hero pads here and fight off the defensive warden and fight off the defensive heroes themselves they have to time just right so that the queen ends up following the king into the town hall without pulling any ground skelly traps there the king will pop his ability he freezes the town hall to preserve his king and queen and then as soon as that happens the bats take out the eagle artillery to the right a balloon deploys with the warden and the royal champion goes in with with the heroes from the top of the base there and steps into the warden aura he freezes the infernos on their entry and then clones the balloons and then warden ability catches all of the balloons and the road champion then he just blankets that entire section of the base there in rages as soon as he's coming out of his ward ability then he starts to throw down the freezes onto the remaining infernos there and then you see the royal champion ability is able to finish off the remainder of the infernos across the middle base there and then the warden and the royal champion both end their pathing on the left side and join in with the king and queen to start to move across the bottom of the base here now you can see how it's starting to take shape but you can also see there's a lot of builder huts across the middle of the base there that he still needs to deal with so he goes ahead and uses the heal not on the balloons but on the heroes he uses the lightning to take out the builder up at the top of the base there and then he can continue to push his heroes across the bottom here the king 
goes to the outside of the base there and then everybody else is going to cut across the middle here and take out all these battle builders and the queen will reach inside of the base there and take out the builder huts here he has one invisibility left and he still has a queen ability that you can see at the very bottom of the screen they're not quite it's off the screen a little bit there but he pops the queen ability and uses the invisibility to get through the defensive heroes and the king and royal champion end up dying so now you only have a little bit of the base there left, but you're pretty much out of resources at this point here. At this point, you'd have to basically drop more troops to have a chance to make it through if something goes wrong. So luckily, the Queen has enough HP and the Warden have enough HP. So these people and all the other people in the top 100 of the raffle are going to be entered into the raffle to win a Golden P.E.K.K.A. and an iPad, a World Championship iPad. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, congratulations to everybody who's making on the leaderboards there. If you're on the leaderboards, let me know in the comment section down below, and we'll see you in the next one.